What's up, everyone? It is I, Ki, and welcome, welcome to Kiki's Critique. I am so excited to be with you guys again today and thankful that God has allowed us to see another day and to have this experience. Well, I'm not going to hold you guys long. You already know. I want to just kind of hop into this content and let you know why I am here today. So my household has recently adopted like a new model or a new, um, um, a new mantra, if you will. And that mantra is how to receive success while failing. That mantra has become so important to me because as we are growing in this thing called life, we are constantly failing to succeed. We're constantly stumbling over ourselves and, and try to win every race and try to be the first in line, be the best, the first seen, the first doing, the first got this. Or if, even if you're not the first, you want to definitely have your piece of the pie. So we're constantly failing, just stumbling over ourselves at times to succeed. We're sometimes harder on ourselves. We may be malnutrition when we're trying to lose weight. We may be over the edge when we're trying to be... Uh, uh, you know, uh, be creative. I mean, there's times where we are constantly failing to succeed. And so I have learned and, 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 and have adopted this way of thinking to say, okay, I need to start first of all, just relaxing in the process of failing to succeed, but understanding that we have to, if we celebrate every failure, then it rejuvenates us. It gives us the energy to have, first of all, I feel less failure because it takes work to celebrate. It takes work to celebrate. Have you ever thrown a party for somebody? You want to celebrate a party? You want to celebrate a birthday, an anniversary? It takes work to celebrate. You got to call caterers or, or cook the food yourself or decorate the house and this and that. I mean, it's all these little intricate details that you want to involve in this celebration. It takes work to celebrate. And once you do that, it is a rewarding feeling. This is a feeling of satisfaction. It's a feeling that you have accomplished something because you celebrated a time, a stepping stone, something that was very important to you. You pulled all the stops out to create that memory that stays in your mind forever. Well, if we adopt that same, that same thinking when we're celebrating something special, something good, so we think, why not change the way we look at our failures and start to celebrate our failures in the same way, giving us the same encouragement, the same motivation, the same energy to continue on to be the success that we're driving to be, okay? So, Eleanor Roosevelt, I read this quote, said, do one thing every day. That scares you. To do one thing every day that scares you. That is a thought, guys. I mean, the thought of that scares the living daylights out of me. To do one thing every day that scares you. Well, even though that scares the living daylights out of me, guess what? I am taking that challenge on. I am doing something right now that scares me. Doing these videos is not the most relaxing place for me. I'm going to keep it all the way one thousand. It is not the most relaxing place to be in front of you all and sharing my innermost, deepest thoughts and, 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 and sharing what God has placed on my heart because I don't know how you're receiving it. I don't know what you think of me. I don't know how I view you view me or my content or my videos, but this is what I do know is that in this process of working to be a success, my success comes from God receiving his glory. My success comes from you guys receiving what I'm saying to you and you just in turn start what glorifying God and be like, what if, if God is is what keeps her hype 
what keeps her lit and crunk, if, if God is what keeps the joy in her spirit, I want a little bit of that energy. I want a little bit of that vibe. I want a little bit of that and a little gumption in my balls. What you saying? If God is doing that for her, I want a little bit of that. So I want to kind of listen and check out what she's saying because sister is speaking some real ish. Uh, speaking it from the heart, whether I am embarrassing myself or not, I'm still going to keep it all the way 100 because I know that this is what God has called me to do. He's called me to, to receive my success while failing in front of you, while not saying my words the most eloquently, while not having the best editing software, while not having the best camera or the best background or the best Best this or the best that while not having any of those things I'm going to still keep moving forward because I'm I'm human just like you are just like you are so guys this whole video today is just to pump you up is to keep you encouraged to let you know that you have to receive your success while failing I celebrated having 60 subscribers because that can seem like, okay, 60 subscribers, sis, 60, and then they fluctuate, and then I woke up after I did the video and put it out there, it was, I was down to 57 subscribers, I said, what, WTF, really? Okay, but I'm going to still pump it anyway because I celebrated 60. I had 60. Now I'm at 59. And by the time I put this video out there, baby, I might be at 70 or 52 or back to 42. I don't know where I'm going to be, but I'm going to keep what? Moving forward, celebrating my failures and receiving my success in the process because I still am feeling good about this content. I'm feeling good about my energy. I'm feeling overly ecstatic about talking to you guys and just inviting you guys into the critique crew. Like this means everything to me. And I just pray y'all that as I have been like, you know, just talking to you about how I am learning to receive success while failing because in understanding that that is part of the game. You know, any successful person, any person that you see on a certain plateau have reached a certain level, they have failed so many times along the way and they've received their success and their success, receiving success while failing is simply this. It's simply getting up Dusting them shoulders off, dusting that dust off, ah, stretching, rejuvenating, resting when you need to rest, doing the things that you need to do to keep going, to keep moving, to keep fighting, to keep climbing, to keep soaring, to keep just receiving whatever we got to do to just keep moving. And if we are keep doing that, then we've already succeeded at that thing that we are striving for, that we are thriving for, that we are working for. We have all already succeeded at that thing because we're about to get there because what we not giving up this is worth suffering for my youtube channel is worth me suffering for it's worth uh my friends being mad at me my family being mad at me people not understanding why i can't do this thing or that thing because i gotta record because i gotta edit because i gotta reach out to you guys you guys are more important to me doing this is more important to me because my reward comes from serving from giving God the glory so if you have been having any types of failures in your life if you've been feeling discouraged because you just can't seem to get it together wow you are trying to get it together you're not alone I'm failing while I'm trying to get it together I'm failing while I'm trying to be better. I'm tripping over myself when I need to just like sometimes sit down because I'm moving too fast because I'm trying to do too much. I'm trying to be over here, over there, over there, over there, and what, and what, and what, and God will slow you down. 
Okay, and so he has definitely brought me back full center because I've been staying plugged in, because I've been understanding and reaching out to him to receive that understanding as to why I have to celebrate every success while I'm failing. If I'm so busy celebrating, even though I fail, I ain't got time to be pitiful. I ain't got time to be like, oh, that YouTube video was trash. Or, oh my God, I don't have no subscribers. Or, oh, this or that. I'm too busy celebrating every time I fail. Oh my God, that video. Y'all, I did the best I could on that video. Oh, that voiceover, the editing on that was trash. But I didn't want to leave you lonely. Because the mission and the word is, was more important than my face. And if it got together. If you heard what I said, that meant more to me for you to hear what I said than what that video looked like because that's what God had put in my heart to do. He said, put it out there. I mean, you only human, baby. You trying to get this YouTube thing going. You trying to build your life. You trying to get it. So you human, you made it, you, it ain't perfect, but the message was bomb. I feel that. I feel that for somebody. Sometimes our presentation may not always be the best, but if you're genuine, if you authentic, then you can receive success in that attempt to do and be the best. Because if you keep celebrating your attempts, then baby, you're going to rise. At the location. So I pray that this message. Have, have definitely blessed you. Have, have just resonated in your spirit. To start celebrating your failures. If your intention is to be. Your highest best version. Then you may. And you must. Celebrate. Your journey. Every step of the way. God bless you. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. And y'all already know. Next time. See ya. See ya. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. I don't know how this video going to turn out. But I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate. I hope this video turn out. I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate. I don't know how this day go turn now. I'm going to receive my success while failing in front of you. What, what, I